Well, I'm going to show you specific scenes because I believe that uh, the script consists of two, two things mainly. Uh, you have a great freedom to choose the topic, the motif of the film. That's, that's the biggest freedom you have as scriptwriters. You come up with the motif of the film. You can come up with absolutely anything. And of course, during the process of the making of the film, everything gets twisted and fucked up and the actors act bad and they can't say the lines and the dialogue gets cut off. But what remains is the topic of the film. If it's a film about love or war or, I don't know, civil war or perverted young guy or whatever, this, this topic remains and this is your freedom to choose this topic. So don't underestimate this freedom you have when you, at, at the very beginning, when you sit down in front of the white page, don't underestimate your power to choose the topic. Because the very choice of the topic, the topic should be ambitious, of course, the very choice of the topic changes the reality. And it's the biggest beauty to see that the topic you've chosen comes life two, three years later <coughs> as a film. And the film still has that original topic that you've decided to write about. So, <coughs> you can choose any topic you like, of course, but be ambitious and make sure that within that topic you can find some scenes that are unique. Because you can never be unique with your topic. You will always be repeating somebody else's motifs. There have been hundreds or thousands of war movies or psychological movies or movies about bad parents or movies about bad kids. So you can never be original when you choose a topic, but you can be very original when you write individual scenes. And it should be your ambition to write scenes that nobody else has ever written yet. You cannot be very original in, in the characters you write, but with the scenes, I believe there, there's some there's still, you can still write a unique scene today that, that wasn't seen or hasn't been seen in the history of cinematography. You know? And uh, you cannot, uh, for instance, you can't have a shot that, uh, you can't devise a new shot, for instance, you know, because ev everything's been shot already Every angle has been exploited already. I think in the 70s already all the shots and all the camera angles were already <coughs> exploited. You know? But you can still write a very, very uh, fresh or unique scene. 